Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about what we know so far about this next season. We're going to be going through absolutely everything, so please be sure to share this video around. As you know, August is the worst month of the year for content because there is basically no news at all. So it's very hard for new people to find the channel. So if you share it around, that will mean the world to me so we can get some more people in as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. And also, if you have, say, been on holiday this week, maybe you missed a few videos or you've been away for the past few weeks, so please be sure to go back and check out the channel, maybe click on some videos, watch them if you miss them out. I know a lot of you are busy in the summer, I've been very busy myself, so I'm guilty of the same thing. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about what to expect and what we know in Season 6. So just quickly, so in regards to the new trailer and to the promos when we're going to see, I made a video on that recently, but expect maybe a DCTV like overall promo where we'll see our first footage at the end of this month, so t sometime in the next week or so. But then, you know, our first official promo, probably in two to three weeks. So, look forward to that. That's going to be great. I can't wait to finally get to there. But, you know, for now, we're in the dry month of August. We're kind of nearing the end. It's the 20th right now. Okay, so, what we know. Two villains are going to be in The Flash Season 6. The first half is going to be blood work. It's been confirmed. Blood work is the villain. And so, I've explained many times his character so if you've missed any of those videos go check out wikipedia just type in blood work dc comics and you'll find out all you need to know i've just said it many times okay so he's the villain for the first part of the season and then in the back half of the season we're going to have a completely new villain who is a mystery villain we have no idea who it is and who it's going to be lots of us have been theorizing it's going to be red death i think that's the highest call of possibility I think there is a chance that it could be someone completely different, maybe Cobalt Blue, or someone completely new, but I have a feeling it's going to be a speedster villain. I just have that feeling, because it's been a long time, and I feel like Eric, the showrunner, has definitely been listening to the fans. Okay, so the next piece of information is that we know Pariah will be introduced in this season before we get to Crisis. So Pariah is a massive thing in Crisis on Infinite Earths. He is essentially a messenger of sorts, warning of the Crisis to come because he was cursed to actually do this and live on forever and witness all the catastrophes in the multiverse. And it's been confirmed Tom Kavanagh is playing Pariah in The Flash and also in Crisis. So very interesting, we know that's gonna be happening and it's going to lead into Crisis and there will be a link from what's happening on The Flash. And so the structure of the season is completely different. Eric Wallace, the showrunner, has described it as being a graphic novel type format with a section one and, you know, Crisis being the midsection, so essentially section two, and then section three, the final section of the, say, graphic novel run, is section three and that is the back half of the season so they are two completely different standalone villains and two completely separate standalone stories apart from they both connect to crisis okay so the next thing we know danielle panabaker is going to be directing episode six of season six they are currently actually preparing episode six right now so you're going to shoot that very very soon so that's very exciting this will be her second episode her episode last season was the Godspeed episode, one of the best episodes of the season for sure, so looking forward to that. Also Godspeed is going to be in episode 1, we've seen behind the scenes photos, on this channel we were able to confirm that he was actually appearing because we found out via some script leaks, we changed the exposure on Photoshop and so on and so forth, and we found out that Godspeed is returning, but it looks like Godspeed's only going to be in one episode, and he's going to be a one episode thing again, which is a big shame in my opinion, but hopefully he is really good and he has a good chunk of episode one to actually showcase himself. Because he was good in the episode last season, but it felt very sort of throwaway because, you know, Nora was able to defeat him really easily. And in the comics, Godspeed is one of the most powerful speedsters, and he surely wasn't on the TV show. 
and so we got the official reveals for some of the titles of some of the season six episodes including episode one which is titled into the void directed by gregory smith and episode two titled a flash of the lightning which is a reference to crisis and so moving on everything is linked to crisis in the season the before is all leading up to crisis so the first part of the season is all to do with crisis in some way or another it's all setting up what's to come and then after crisis it's still going to be linked to crisis dealing with the ramifications of what happened in the crossover and so that's going to continue on supposedly to that villain who we have no idea who it is right now and you know maybe how that villain came around to be a villain and how he's in central city or how she's in central city so it's all going to be linked and additionally, we know that Bloodwork was once a colleague and was an acquaintance of Caitlin in the past, and this season he will be in the trust for the first part of the season with Team Flash, maybe potentially joining Team Flash at a certain point, not so sure about that part. However, he will have his big episodes around episode 3, 4, 5, that is when we have been told to actually expect the sort of main juicy part of the Bloodwork story. However, he will most likely be in all the other episodes, even, you know, towards the end of Crisis, maybe when he sort of leads into what happens in Crisis, because we know it's linked somehow, but I don't know how he's going to die or go away. Maybe it's the Anti-Monitor that gets rid of him or something like that. I'm not sure, but he's going to be a big thing in the first half of the season. And then one of the last things is right now they are filming episode 5 and I believe they are very very close to actually finishing their shoot and they're going to move on to episode 6. They're actually in preparation right now for episode 6 which is in fact Daniel Panabaker's second directorial attempt and she's going to be doing this episode. So some more news that we know about is Cisco Ramon is going to be a series regular as per normal this season. He is not going away. All those rumors were false and Carlos is sticking around. He's going to be around for the whole season. He's going to have quite a lot to do apparently and so yeah no worries about that. He's sticking around. We know that for sure. Moving on Tom Kavanagh is going to play lots of different versions of himself. As per usual, we've got a Harrison Wells who is going to be part of the main team Flash. This new Harrison Wells is completely different. He has been quoted as saying he is a swashbuckling Wells, he's more of an adventurous Wells. And we've seen what he looks like in behind the scenes photos. He very, very much so evokes a sort of Indiana Jones type vibe. And he's going to be very adventurous and he's going to be different and presumably he's from a different earth. We know that in one of the first episodes of the season he's going to have a confrontation with Cisco and Cisco is not going to know who he is. So it is definitely a new version of Wells. We don't know what other versions of Wells we're going to see, but Pariah is going to be some sort of, you know, doppelganger. We don't know if, you know, Pariah is actually Harrison Wells from another earth or something, but maybe just a doppelganger like how Henry Allen was the doppelganger of Jay Garrick, the real Jay Garrick. Additionally, we know that Iris is going to be supposedly, and I say supposedly because they've said this every season, but she's going to be heavily involved in the reporting side of things. She's going to have loads of people working for her. I'm guessing like three or four people working for her, including Camilla. She's going to be the photographer for her. So it seems like she's going to have a working office that is at least a little bit bustling and so it seems like the central city citizen is going to be sort of coming off of the ground and actually being a proper, you know, well-rounded business. So that is supposedly what's going to be happening. And moving on, Ralph, he's going to see the introduction of a new case which will lead him down the lines to find Sue Dearborn, aka Sue Dibney, who in the comics is Ralph's wife by the end. And so she is supposedly coming this season and that was teased by the end of the season where he got that case file. So he's going to be investigating that. Additionally, Killer Frost is going to have a new suit and Barry is going to have a new suit. We've seen Killer Frost. It looks amazing. We've seen Barry's, but we haven't seen the cow. The cow is going to be different and also the cow will have the chin strap. Very, very excited for that. There's been lots of fan art online and I'm looking forward to seeing 
what it actually looks like with the cow hopefully they go back to sort of you know more of the original look so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe turn on notifications share this video around as you know august is a very dry month for dc tv news so it would mean the world if you shared this video around to all your friends and online so thank you guys so much for watching catch you guys later goodbye